Dad! Hey, Dad! Go, hey, Sam, go get Dad. This guy doesn't believe me. This shit's hilarious. You want to talk shit to this dumbass? Yeah, I want to talk to your dad right now. No, no, no. Talk to my sister. Yeah, let me talk to your guy. sister. Dude, his mom, his, remember that chick that was over last night that threw up everywhere because my dick went so far down her throat? <laughs> that, dude, that was his mom. Who doesn't love meeting people in your matches or playing with them? Alright, hold on. <laughs> Fucking oh, muted! Oh my god, dude! Did you fucking hear that guy? And it felt so great talking to these people that you would never talk to in your normal lives, talking about whatever you would want. You can't mod this game. What you talking about? Like it. 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 Me and my friend Trenton would just kick back, relax, play some Assassin's Creed, Borderlands 1 and 2, Black Ops, uh, even Halo 3 at some Truth times, you know? Covenant, the flood. We'd play Plants vs. Zombies, Gears of War, it's 1 finished. and 3, but not the second one. But, from what I'm told, I didn't miss much. Ty? Is that you? Marcus, we got more locusts on the way! Ty, let's go! Cole, Baird, cover that door! Carmine, Dom, guard the rear! <laughs> You know, we had some mishaps, but it's 2018, and some games and some game development companies are just lagging back. Back when online was an option for games, now it's become a more critical point to the game instead of the game itself. I look at EA when I was little. I thought of EA was a god among normal game developers. With Mirror's Edge, Battlefield, both bad companies, and all the Mass Effects, including The Sims. I'm not saying other titles like Dragon Age wasn't memorable. Because they were. It's just, that's not what I grew up with. I played Gr Dragon Age when I was in high school. Not when I was growing up seeing this. Now, EA has bring their company. Has brought it to the ground. Making it dirt trash. They've won worst company of the year again and my personal hatred of EA kind of stems from their scummy attitude tactics in selling their games 
Mass Effect. Let's back to the first two. And I would go. Oh damn, this is a pretty cool game. I love this mission except this fucking dumbass exploring mission. But I understand it was there for to make the game more explorable. And I can't say there were not parts where it kind of it kind of was fun. It was it wasn't not fun. But then there were other parts that your vehicle would just get stuck or you would just fuck up and you would save back, go back, do all that. What I've seen is recently, they made players pay for pets. Pay for pets on Sims 4. Now, this wouldn't be a problem if you remember Sims 3. But, if the pets cost about, like, more than half or to half, of your initial game then that's some that's really really bad with an unforgiving forty dollars for the game and for pets another forty dollars each isn't fucking insanity it's just really really scummy on EA's part Sims 3 is a still a, of a better game it's a better game. It would not be better if you got Sims 4. But just get Sims 3. Trust me, you're going to have a better time. You'll probably have a better time than you have on Sims 4. You'll have fun on Sims 4, but it's just everything's not there. You know? Everything isn't there. Now for more on EA and their fuck-ups. And I was trying to lead you onto this road where it would be stupid of them to not make a really, really good game after seeing those, after seeing two really good games that have became, have became good in the franchise. And I'm not talking about Ubisoft with Assassin's Creed. I'm talking about I'm talking about Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront. How can you fuck up so badly, EA? Really? You were handed a silver spoon in your ass and you still gave us dog shit. Come on, bro. That's not cool. That's not of you but EA wanted their grubby little hands on it they wanted to go oh we can we can do better we can do better we can do better we made battlefield 5 right guys right and you saw how much of a success that was and it keeps on making a big success with about I don't know, about 80, 800 people, maybe still online to this day. And the one thing they do, the one thing people gripe about them about is their fucking microtransactions to pay to win. If you know your community tells you not to add pay to win, then that should be a clear indication that you should not add paint to win. What are you not understanding? Come on. I have to say communities are the best thing to ever come from games. I'm talking about loving communities like Fallout or other communities, you know, the ones that reach out, you know? And I love those communities that make sure that the developer is following up with their actions. Now, an EA, they didn't get told 
by just normal people. Hey, this is, you know, this is bad. You know, just a couple, few people. No, they were destroyed by a fuck ton of people telling them, you know what? You said pay to win. Why is there pay to win? Why can I not play Darth Maul in the first hour of the game? Why can I not play Dark Vader? Why can I not play bots? Why can I not play this? And the list goes on. Now, to ignore, to ignore them would be a hardship on their, on their part. EA is already on a slope down, but to ignore their major of the community, that's like being behavioral digital ink situation. Now, you think with the scary game, I'm only going to touch on this slightly, with the scary game and, and horror aspects in it, you think that would be a great plan, you know? But if the community is so passionate, so passionate about some people just nerfing the fuck out of, out of the characters basically you're opposing, then what the fuck is the point? You basically become the fucking Bomba Man. And all you're doing is just waiting until he fucking kills you. That's about it. Like, you look at survivors. They're fucking nerfed to the ground. They're so bad of a nerf that I would consider Mercy's nerf a mercy to her. But you have these streamers that oh that all these developers and tell them, oh, you know what? You should fucking do this. You should fucking do that. Instead of trying to help the developers on both sides, never even complaining about Oh, you know the killers are kind of OP, how they can fucking insta down you and stuff. I can understand. Oh yeah, they're killers. But if you're making the it's game to a difficulty that that everyone will not enjoy, that you know that character. everyone that and first comes into it will not like it, you're just dream. asking for your game just you to be a fucking this poop show. Like it being thrown the in the garbage. Playing the wrong game Maybe if they pack ago, some stuff they and they nerf some stuff from in character. the killers. And they a little bit buff from the survivors. I think that's okay. I think we can do this. Of men they can be an alright. Remnants of the old world. Sometimes they can get by just on the strength of their arms alone. There's we need an alright. Gambling away the glory of what America's is? past on a legion of slaves trying to rise against their masters on some old forgotten highway. None of them have any idea what kind of character it takes to bring the greatest but nation on earth back to glory. But there's people that wanna feed the down newest here, trends in Vault 18. And you're gonna learn everything you need to next. know about winning that war. Right here, right now, on this battlefield. You I enjoy the last of America's finest men and, and other women. things that make You're me laugh. The and other things that make me enjoyable. Like I even have a fucking fidget spinner of Batman. Now is your I'm not fucking time. lying. I'm taking a picture you of this and and show you. That you have the character it takes to but bring America back to glory. But when there's a game and when there's tons of games that tell you to spend money, it kind of ruins the experience a bit. Because you'll have those games where it says you run out of energy, you run out of this, you run out of that, and kind of stop you from playing the actual game. Now, I wouldn't have a problem with this if it wasn't a big annoyance. You know? Um, and it just is a horrible way to put in a game as a middle finger to people because sometimes they're telling you oh yeah if we don't give two shits if you know about the story if you Make care about the story we just want some fucking money the best example would have to be Metal Gear 
survive. Now, all the people on Steam that say this game is good is either not copied. is either paid by some kind of company to help Konami or just Armon White in gaming. But when Konami decided to make but when Hideo Kojima was making Metal Gear 5 he didn't want any microtransactions and that was some kind of gripe with them. With Konami, there was already some ruffles against them, but they kind of saw that they wanted money, and he was just wanting to make a game. But when Konami kicked Kojima out and became the sole developers of a game without planning to ask for any help or do it do it even good. I would have taken the fucking pachinko machine. They decided to make a game that is so trash that you have to give you have to give him the award for best game was trying to. You were kind of blocked for making a separate character without paying for it, and there were also microtransactions in the game. So come on, dude. Think about it. What's gonna happen? Now, I haven't played a Metal Gear game before 5. Honest to God. Even though I own a PlayStation 2, I never even heard of Metal Gear. Now, I've not played any Metal Gear game before 5. And let me tell you. I had never played anything that good before. When it came to combat, to stealth, it blended so well together. Hell, you could go in guns blazing all you want. You can go in stealthily. And you know what? It would reward you sometimes, you know? Going stealthily you could get you can get people. You could just Sleep dart him, see that oh there's a guy with a plus plus or or that anything like that. I've Go get him, years, take kid. him to your base, the take him to mother base. Your praise this season. Looks like Braves Patriots. I can put understand when companies want Thanks money to you. But no, I've been told when you've got your main game too. is to want you more money from season, that so game that, that you hardly put I think any money in besides reusing a previous game's assets. You could do a lot of Guess what? Not even IGN will fucking save your ass. Well, they won't save real your ass. Kid, a real group mindset, but this is a moment to be proud But of. the best person Never to also above your do this success. is what I've always lived by. There comes a time where you have to making pick your some own great team. games. You, you would think just they the would continue making those either. great games. It has to be the right choice in who you throw As your before, behind. right? I was talking to Chevy uh, in the security department. Those goddamn morons in the overseer's office actually companies. want to put you to work in making money out of Idiots just don't know what DLC. Kind of you have. Some you skins like for weapons, security, you know, all that stuff. And Ubisoft was like. Someone from Ubisoft was like, Look at these dumbass kids. And they're paying for DLC and You're skins right. and for these characters. Back in the they're they're, they're, they're going to lose. They're, they're going to lose it in like two years. Because no one's going to be playing the game anymore. Rode through town in old TV shows. Uh, we have to do the same. My first gun at age 10, and and probably a Ubisoft was... employee. Course, that was so higher up said of the higher caliber you know? myself here yeah. take a few old gun magazines with you how about you become dream. the next division officer how about you become the next person to watch over things. all our games for this year and the next year and for next year gen consoles too hey kid before you go i want to ask you something then you were born when the they saw the bad news about ea now 
was making Dyson boys work all my best players like crazy I don't know much about you give me some said hold my beer they did the same underpaying the workers and from what this says from an ex redditor post come on Ubisoft you have a chance to to be great and you failed you failed again if you guys saw Donkey um, in his newest video on Assassin's Creed Odyssey I agree with some of his points I thought the game could have had oh, potential strange. Well, at any rate, you know, had a good story, Americans, had a good, had some good missions. To organize an after school program for but Ubisoft wants like leveling in their games, and, like and I don't see Assassin's you Creed price, doing you? that well. The what if one day that no? was threatened? Would you be willing to stand up next to me and I only see a country? couple games in my eyes that make leveling feel like such an achievement but for games like assassin's creed it's Don't be just not that good i mean america this ain't just a what made assassin's for a few creed's extra games hours. it's a lifetime commitment feel really good is that I'm you can just kill people hell if they have a health the bar okay then guess what you can execute them the you can just Republic. basically shoot the them do all that Super stuff mutants. Just and you can wear down. new armor, Not all of us have been uh, called Vault 18 home wear new weapons, years. you know, it's you your know choice. What's what's like it but, the others. You can't just but when there was, the assassin, above, but there were so many leaks from when it People came like to you and Assassin's Creed 1, in and, throw our weight and it made a major leap to Assassin's Creed 2, which I would agree Assassin's Creed 2 was a great game. In my honest belief, Damn right, soldier. I can tell you have the Ezio edition and you have the was the best game in this world. world. The now most listen, bravest Assassin's Creed great games leader, but you're gonna need above that I probably ever seen. And I was so I angry check at its well-deserved remaster. When you're done. Get so messed up. Get not so messed up, but somewhat messed up. During its release, I was like, come on, man. I bet you someone with mods can do better. Better than this. Really, you had to mess up. Somehow, you had to mess up when it came to climbing on walls. And another time, you had to mess up, really, on just facial animations. You could have worked with a base game and gone off that, you know? You could have done that. You could have done that probably like Halo Halo Master Chief Collection. You could have done that. You know, who wants the old graphics, then the new graphics. Old graphics, then the new graphics. Makes sense? But no, not in these guys' minds. It was just a quick buck to try to get at games that were really good in their era. In addition, microtransactions are bad and I only think the greatest one when it came to microtransactions was uh, Fallen Out Shelter uh, not the creation club because um, I'm not gonna pay like five dollars for something that I can easily get for free and uh, probably works better too Now, here's where I'm going to probably fall off with most of my argument because I think number three is probably my least build up argument besides it going after somewhat of EA and its practices. Um, when it, Battle Royale games were becoming really popular, you know, um, you could see some of these other games pop up, and I understand that to get popular not a lot of us can be single player games but not a lot of us can be the next Fortnite 
or the next PUBG, to be honest with you. And I have a feeling Black Ops 3 fell because of microtransactions, in my opinion. And I should have put this on the earlier one, but I'm putting it in now. That microtransactions took it a hole from when it came to DLC feeling adequately worthless to its one-shot weapons that just made it a rage to play. I feel that those trends with Black Ops will keep on seeping into the next one. And I want to hope that it would be kind of like our back then days, you know, of playing Black Ops. Because I really enjoyed about them. I remember playing Black Ops 2 when I was in middle school. And you know what? That was a great time. I remember playing and feeling like shit because I got killed with some arbitrary some arbitrary weapons whatever the hell weapons you know whatever the w weapons you mained but you mained that weapon you know you mained it you'd, you had kill streaks with it you know you remember it and hell there's still some people playing and loving this game too I never felt good when the game left, and I didn't feel good when its predecessor just kind of stepped over it like it was a worthless trash. I could say the only thing that just Black Ops 2 actually did for microtransactions was DLC and probably skins. And the only thing that was paid to Quinn for the gun, which came only on the first DLC, and that was it. But it became a really popular, so they added it into Ghost. But, like again, it's not like EA when it comes to pay to win. Where you can have all the weapons in the game, all the weapons so, in the game, turn. all the all the vehicle attachments, everything. Damn fine work, but we already when knew playing that. Battlefield Three. I remember seeing people. Oh yeah, oh just mm, buying so the fucking does. shortcuts. Oh great, great for you. And Buying the shortcuts. Three years, we're going to try to save our game. I don't know why I just said that. In three years, we're going to try to save our game. And give you free DLC. Because of our low player count. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Battlefield 1. Where even on a good day, you get hardly anyone on. But let's go back. Shortcuts fucking suck. And yeah, well, brains and when are Battlefield well 5 good, came out with the it was coming out with a battle royale mode, if you want to I be just a soldier, laughed your because EA is total garbage and they'll probably make some kind of way to pay to win nice. and well <laughs> probably done, make the Thanos gauntlet right, an actual fixed. thing You're in the, the game of your class. and you know what Thanos will be a woman so right so let's let's Report give EA a, a round of applause everyone the best gear and post in the base you've earned it When I remember playing Battlefield 4, it was a great game, you know, from what I remember. It was a great game where we were playing large scale battles and and it would be fun, you know? Having like this war on on this next guy or oh like you know, you're just fucking having the defibrillators and your comrades and you just have to pick them up each time and your friends 
and there was like a major skill when it came to playing Battlefield because oh you couldn't just go into it well, actually you just can go into it and get like five kills but you have to be extremely lucky or the party has to be really stupid but I think the one thing that kind of drove players away from Battlefield 4 was of its was of its horrible uh horrible way of a uh, loadout just really bad I I'm going to compare it to Black Ops 2 now Black Ops 2 loadouts they weren't that confusing. They told you what they were, told you what they were. Great. Like, if you go over it, you click on it. Oh, these are perks. These perks do this and that. These do that. But when you're on a Battlefield 4 well, loadout, do have that it's of so confusing eyes, sometimes. What do you want to know? And, and you have to sometimes access it in game. Yes. So, hell what earth, the hell are you doing, you know? I've seen cities sunken below seas of radioactive sand. The ashes but of the dead choke the air. Why did the EA there are places see this, this and go, you know, war still this is actually pretty good. You make the loadout. Um, it looks more condensed. And it's also more, how you can say, you to make understandable. I've why didn't the they, Saint at that Glimmer time, in the dark. Black Ops next to 2 was a, wake up in the morning, was a 2000s the game. It was 2012. What the fuck were EA doing at the time? You feel trapped even out in the open. Not even the like, cool breeze really? of the coming rain across the sun doing? cracked skin is good news. The only hope is that someday um, you hear on the airwaves. Can you bring it up in the pictures? Coming to save the day. The song Thanks. of America starting to wake up from her oh, nightmare. No. Father time FIFA breathing 13? life back into her. I knew we couldn't get rid of you. And you'll find the same code in, in this game used in its other clones of this game. That's a good question, kid. America? That's a real big thing to talk about. Here in Vault 18, uh, we have the opportunity the to rushed make a up there. Mass We're Effect and healthy. 3 I wanna see you kids could have been better. It, it needed a little more time. A little bit more effort. A little bit more time. You know what? They could have tweaked it a bit. You know, made the endings feel like not color coded. And, you know, I would have still had been okay with it. Or, you know, they could have actually said something. Andromeda. Instead of it being a fucking hole of a mess. You betcha, kid. And this Kingdom of Um Alivar Reckoning. It's a great game, but you rather play Dragon Age 2. Thank me later. Trust me. You'd rather just play Dragon Age 2, to be honest. It'll be less confusing. And here we have tonight's bulk here. Probably you really some better storytelling. Yourself, big guy. Can I ask for a quick post game play by play? Great game. If you think uh fun running gun. Great. But it's Have better with people. It's like like a cyborg about, version you know, of Left Bird at two. We'll it's it fun with, with people, quick. but it kinda sucks alone. Like you wouldn't want it alone. You know? And you just don't play games that require people to have more fun without them. So, uh, the requirement for this game is, uh, get friends. Oh, sure. no. Don't oh, waiting, no. Tiger. Uh, this is like, it has shitty controls, in my opinion. So, since we won the game of the year, how should it's we celebrate? a bad portal port. I mean the coach. By that I mean so it's just a portal copy. Want. So trying to think of a few ways to see more get off portal. We can figure it out from there. Well then, you lead the way. <laughs> now I have played this 
on Xbox 360. And when I got this, this was, this has already been three years need? after the game's Mine. release. It's a really good game. It needed some work. I love some parts of the campaign. <laughs> but. I don't understand why they couldn't put hey, a little more effort into on the it, big you know? Win. That was some sick footwork knocking over Johnny Matheson. I loved it. And that ugly oak but didn't stand a chance. You're a bruiser. Nobody knows when we're gonna have another game like this. Cause sure hell is huh, well, kinda. Sure hell I'm EA is gonna do nothing. Weathers. Brad kicked him off the Patriots for the night, hey, remember so Shank? I had to fill in. I'm not exactly one of the Patriots. Okay. I just like to get tough now okay. and then and toss a few boys It's not even a good game. And it's a game that seems I like tried. a bad flash hey, what game. Are you doing tonight? Like you wanna come join the ones tonight? you would play for early flash party? games. Or like those porn games that you would play. But these, this is just bad. 2012, they could have done better. Look, I know well, people won't agree with some of the what I say, alcohol that chemistry nerds brew up in or my viewpoints. You care to walk the line of scientific possibility with us? You know, I can Anything say that some of the parts of this video, if you want to say all, in this damn vault. you can say all. I won't, I won't disagree with you. That it's all jambled up and, you know, shouldn't be even published. But I wanted this. I wanted to say something, you know? I feel... I feel like... Well... I have felt that games will get better. And I know there will be games mm, that I'm kind of not a girly girl. away with I play volleyball. I drink a lot. I beat up the boys. Like single well, player, all whether it be my story, brother. Eric is the a graphics, lot than me. or Especially the replay each other. of that game. That's where people get their ideas. I believe he and I. Well, we've always been really close. Really have close. Have to get bad. We lost our parents in the wasteland a long time ago, and Dr. Rossman's wasteland better. scouts saved us. That's how we I've guided my life. Bait, but we ended up here. And I love him. And Eric was my first when there's a everything. when there's been a down. We've always been together and we me. don't think it's weird, but others they always hate us found for a it. way to get back. So we tend to stick together. Then with all of this brag except for you a, bullshit, you the piece of extra harsh. Well, except your family. You guys have treated us okay? You really think that? That's cool. I'm glad that you're one of my friends. Okay, you have a good night. Maybe I'll see you later?
do you need? <laughs> 